Kim Kardashian and Kanye West aren't the only celebrities Taylor Swift addresses on Reputation. Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation, is sexier, darker, and completely unapologetic. And we were definitely ready for it. It seems like her exes and enemies were ready for it, too, given the jabs from Swift in the first single of the new record, Look What You Made Me Do. Two of her enemies, Katy Perry and Kim Kardashian, even banded together on Reputation's release day. Kardashian attended one of Perry's concerts, where the two met up backstage. Both celebrities posted all over social media, including Perry's Instagram story, in which she joked, told, you I was a secret condition. We don't blame them for joining forces, because Swift is coming at anybody who's done her wrong. However, that's not to say Swift's songs are all negative. In fact, much of the album is spent gushing over her boyfriend, Joe Orwin. Here's a breakdown of all the celebrity Swift addresses on Reputation, proving that the new Taylor isn't scared of sharing exactly what she thinks. 1. Katy Perry If we learned anything from Swift's first single off of Reputation, it's that her most public feuds are still going strong. That certainly doesn't exclude Perry who, in July 2017, actually admitted she'd like to put her feud with Swift to rest. Look what you made me do made it clear that Swift isn't planning on reconciling any time soon. She clearly points fingers at Perry, including the line, Lock me out and threw a feast, what? This definitely seems to be referring to Perry's single, Bon Appetit and the little what? At the end adds an extra touch of criticism. Swift even goes so far as to dress like Perry in the singles music video, with blunt blonde bangs and a leopard print coat. If it sent any message across, it's that she's ready for any more punches thrown her way. 2. Joe Orwin We had already heard Swift gush about Orwin on the singles she released before Reputation even dropped. Gorgeous may have caused some confusion on the subject of the song, but Swift wants you to know. It's definitely about Orwin. Ready for it? Which turned out to be the album's opening track, sets the tone for reputation. It revolves around Orwin, and it has a much more provocative sound than the Swift we're used to. The line, younger than my exes, but he act like such a man though, not only alludes to 26-year-old Orwin's maturity but might even throw a bit of shade at her exes by implying they weren't as mature, despite their older age. Her love story with Orwin doesn't stop at those two singles. She gushes about her bone tracks like King of My Heart, so it goes. Dress and New Year's Day, just to name a few. Swift is definitely trying to tell us that she's never felt closer to someone before. After all, as she sings, in Delicate, my reputation's never been worse, so he must like me for me. 3. Calvin Harris In between Swift's tracks obsessing over her new man, she carves out some time to dish about two of her most recent exes. Let's start with her Calvin Harris references, shall we? I did something bad puts Harry's on blast about their post-breakup controversy. In July 2016, one month after their split, Swift's rep announced that Harry's and Rihanna's song, This Is What You Came For, was actually written by Swift under a pseudonym. Harry's ranted that Swift was trying to dare her ex-BF down for something to do as the result of needing someone new to bury like Katie. Swift seemingly responds in her song, he says don't throw away a good thing slash but if he drops my name then I owe him nothing slash and if he spends my change then he had it coming. She makes other digs at him throughout the album, such as the line all the boys with their expensive cars in King of My Heart. While she spends most of the song raving about Orwin, she's definitely comparing him to Harris, who does, in fact, drive a Range Rover. 4. Tom Hiddleston. Unsurprisingly, Tom Hiddleston fell victim to a few references of his own. 
Swift's sex is the subject of Getaway Car, in which she admits to being stuck in a love triangle. Considering Swift broke up with Harris in June 2016 and she moved on to Hiddleston within the same month, we're guessing this is the love triangle she's referring to. Swift sings, I wanted to leave him slash I needed a reason slash with three of us, honey, it's a sideshow slash and a circus ain't a love story. She obviously thinks the relationship was doomed from the start, considering its scandalous roots. 5. Kim Kardashian Swift and Kardashian aren't just enemies due to Kardashian being Kanye West's wife. Kardashian has taken some very clear shots at Swift herself, and Swift didn't hesitate to call her out on it. Let's rewind all the way back to Swift's first announcement of the new album. She completely wiped her Instagram clean of any photos which left her fans concerned and confused. Upon her return to the platform, she posted three cryptic videos which all connected to create a hissing snake. This was a clear reference to Kardashian's accusation of Swift being a snake when Swift was seemingly caught lying about approving West's lyrics about her in his song, Famous. Swift stuck with the snake imagery in the Look What You Made Me Do music video, in which she takes even more swings at Kardashian. At the end of the video, the Perry resembling version of Swift claims she's getting receipts. I'm going to edit this later. Swift is basically attesting that Kardashian edited the video in which Swift approves of West's famous lyrics, effectively putting the ball back into Kardashian's court. 6. Can I West? If you thought Swift tore down West on Look What You Made Me Do by straight up singing that she doesn't like him and his dilted stage, just wait until you hear this is why we can't have these things. This track is 100% directed at West, and it's completely unforgiving. She sings that I was giving you a second chance slash if only you weren't so shady slash but you stabbed me in the back while shaking my hands slash and therein lies the issue slash friends don't try to trick you slash get you on the phone and mind twist you. We're pretty sure we know what phone call she's referring to. 7. Herself. We know, we know this one's obvious. However, no matter how much she sings about or in all her sworn enemies, the album is all about her reputation, after all. She sings about herself a lot, even occasionally referring to herself in the third person. For example, in Ready For It, she refers to Orwin as Burton to this tailor. The statistics have even been considered, with Swift's percentage of album as self-reference at 10.12%. That's higher than any of West's records, but only just beating the life of Pablo by 1%. Keep in mind that the track I Love Can I on West's most recent album actually says the name Can I 39 times, so the fact that reputation is even more self-oriented is Honestly, pretty impressive. We can't help but admit that we love this new, badass version of Swift. She isn't apologizing for anything anymore, so we'll see who's brave enough to cross her next.